these birds breed here, raise their young, and then they migrate to the southeastern coastal plain states, including North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, northern Florida, and eastern Alabama. We now know where the birds winter. Our new research question is, what is the pathway that these birds take on their journey from Schoharie County, New York, to the southeastern United States? Is it a direct flight? Do they zigzag? Do they travel across land? Or do they travel across the ocean on their route? So with older radio tracking technology, uh, a researcher would have to put a VHF radio tag on a bird and then would have to physically be in the field following that bird. And the range was rather limited with these VHF tags, maybe a mile or two. Advances with GPS radio tracking have now made it possible for researchers to study in fine detail the actual movements of birds. So wood ducks, for example, that we put these radio tags on in Schoharie County, rather than knowing where they end up only, we can now follow them on a day-to-day -day basis. We're hoping that we may be able to identify some significant habitats that these birds use to feed and rest as they stage during migration. And perhaps the most amazing thing is that all of this tracking can be conducted remotely from mobile devices. 